Hey everybody, welcome back to the next um, installment of Percussion Talk. I believe this is going to be episode 4, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've been able to really do anything with this series. But uh, today's going to be kind of an informal kind of like update as to things going on. And another direction change for the channel. Um, kind of similar to what we kind of talked about in the last episode of Percussion Talk being... Things are going more towards an education route because that's where my degree is taking me and that's where God's plan for my life is kind of going right now. Um, first and foremost, big thing that happened right after the end of episode 3 of Percussion Talk, I graduated. Um, ended up graduating as the outstanding graduate from my class in for the um, music department and got my... Pi Kappa Lambda stuff and my ministry and missions cord to wear at graduation. You'll see some pictures of that here coming up really soon. Where there's a few, there's one with my me and my um, now fiance standing together. Um, kind of spoiled the next thing I was going to talk about. Uh, I'm engaged now. Uh, it happened on the beach vacation with my family and. That's another big thing that's happened this summer amongst the, all the big things that are really going on. Um, planning a wedding now, and we've already picked out a venue and a date and everything. It's set and ready to go. Now we're just pre-booking vin- her vendors, and um, she's picking out her bridal gown, and I'm prepping up my groomsmen for this event. Uh, probably not going to be doing anything crazy for a bachelor party, because I'm not a crazy person. But... Uh, Really excited to start uh, life with her and this new adventure that God has kind of set us on. Um, next big thing on my list to talk about, I got a job. I am now the assistant band director at Carter High School. And what that means for me is I am in charge of the percussion studies program up there. As well as the um, indoor drum line. And of course the standard doing like teaching band part. Um, I'll have a general music class, and I also get to go down and help out with the middle school, which is going to be a really awesome opportunity. I really enjoyed my time at Carnes Middle, so this might be like a ode to that era of my life, and I'm super excited about taking that on. Um, ooh, the uh, light is changing the uh, settings on the camera real quick. I'm going to turn back around. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying. The program is super excited to have me out. I've already been up there helping out Mr. Needham, who is my, or who is the headband director up there, um, writing drill. I've rewritten a drum break for them. I've prepared a entire warm-up packet, some of it based off the Santa Clara Vanguard exercises, because we love Vanguard around here, even though I am wearing a blue coat shirt. <laughs> um, yeah, super exciting stuff. And you guys will get to see pictures of all that. I've already taken two of the percussion kids to a program called Sounds of Summer around here. It's kind of a pre-band camp percussion um, or marching percussion camp where you kind of go and you learn some uh, fundamental skills as well as like a few fun cadences and you do a little performance at the end. Um, Got to meet some cool people out there and got to kind of uh, be the model for a new up-and-coming music major who's going to be going to Tennessee Tech um, and possibly, hopefully, coming to teach our band camp. Fingers crossed. Um, Yeah. Let's see, what else was I going to talk about? Having a blank mind blank here for a second. Oh, yeah. So, me and my buddy Jackson, who you guys saw in the last performance video that I uploaded, are thinking about or well, really in the process of trying to create an independent WGI program for Knoxville. Tennessee doesn't really have a strong, like, drum corps and WGI presence as far as as independent groups go. Of course, you've got Music City Drum Corps, which is now a world-class corps, where my good buddy Burke Rivet is marching. And you've got Music City Mystique, which is the world-class WGI group for Tennessee, but they're both based out of Nashville. And I would like to see some more things come towards East Tennessee. So we're looking to create a um, 
mission-based WGI group out of Knoxville, since we're going to be kind of basing it out of a church who has possibly allowed us to use their facilities. He's kind of checking on that, and I'm looking at the logistics of how we would actually do this. I think our plan for the first couple of years is going to be to kind of treat it as like a summer camp, kind of like Sounds of Summer, where kids kind of come out and get um, help with uh, marching fundamentals and playing technique and all that fun stuff and then as we garner interest and kind of get a get a name for ourselves try to transition that into a full-fledged WGI group and start really um really hitting the ground running we've already kind of got the interest of one of my other good friends Sophia Suante who is a Santa Clara Vanguard veteran who would be very interested in coming out and teaching our front for that which is amazing because man i would love to be able to say that i have world-class instruction for the kiddos out there um another big thing that we would be looking at is like maybe getting a sponsorship for from a stick company hoping for innovative percussion because i love innovative and running it that way lots of big things to think about in that area nothing set in stone and just mind-bogglingly amounts of money that we'd have to save up but the plan is to like do that through the camp and all that fun stuff um yeah that's that was a lot (laughs) i know but this summer has been really really big for me and this coming year is gonna be really 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 big for me so that things are kind of kind of change kind of change for the channel again i would like to post a lot of more educationally minded stuff as i kind of talked about in the last episode um but also um maybe take some performance stuff with me and jackson starting to do things um i'd like to open up a new series on the channel as well for like life of a music educator and talking about um my experience as a first year and maybe have some more experienced guys come on and talk about like what their experience was and what their experience currently is in the music education system and maybe give some like some tips and tricks to the newbies out there who are just getting into uh, the music education life and kind of how to go about getting started and all that fun stuff. Um, I know I'll be picking a good friend of mine, Eric Baumgardner's brain, as well as uh, another good friend of mine, Chuck Brock's brain about like indoor and how he got his start and all that good stuff. But also may reach back out to Aaron Bray and a few of the other people I've student taught with and kind of get their takes on things and put some things up there. Maybe do like a, it's like almost like a semi round table about talking about things going on in the music education world. Um, looking forward to possibly take a trip to Midwest this year. That'll be a first for me, but, uh, that will be super fun and I'll document the whole thing and have it all up here. I don't know what series that'll end up on, but I'm sure you guys will see headlines for it (laughs) even before it even, uh, happens and I'm able to record stuff for it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I needed to update for this vlog. Uh, more performance stuff is coming out in the books. I've got some more writing to do for Carter and uh, other things to take care of. Um, I guess the next thing from here is to start the Music Educator series and do some more, probably do some more stuff with Jackson and uh, write some more licks, get them up on the YouTube page, just kind of post things every night, er, every now and then. I don't know what the posting schedule will be like now that I'm going to be in a first year teaching position, but uh, we will, I'm definitely going to try and to keep the channel as up to date as I possibly can. So hang with me through there. Um, Yeah. So here next are going to be some pictures from all the events that I just told you about, except for a few of them, because can't post kids without parental consent. But yeah, um, enjoy those pictures.
as you guys have kind of seen a slideshow of all the things that have been happening in my life and happening to my career and all these things. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for bearing with me and bearing through the channels. Very vast changes that have been happening here recently. Um, you guys are great, and this has been a really nice outlet for me to kind of voice all the amazing things that are going on here as of recent. And uh, yeah, so hope you liked the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.